Hey everybody, PTL here, and we're here with Mr. Dominic and Tanner. Tanner Foster right here, yeah. I'm best friends with Tanner Foster. It's <laughs> just messy. Uh, today's episode of PTL's Garage, my wife's gonna bring us sandwiches. And we're gonna be actually pulling the motor out of this Mark IV Jetta wagon. So let's get to work, because this is PTL's Garage. So Dominic is working on the uh, main lines. Tanner over here already got the power steering off. He actually, uh, both the guys got the axles off, the front end core support off, uh, upper and lower radiator hoses uh, removed. Um, so I'm just walking them through. I'm watching them how they work. They actually uh, pretty efficient. I'm actually uh, pretty content on this right now. <laughs> Usually I have someone that's like popping fresh and is like. What's the screwdriver? I'm like, uh oh, hurts. I don't I'm not I'm not that bad right now. I'm actually pretty content with the the quality of work these guys are doing. So Dominic here wants to retain the AC system, which I'm like really disappointed in, but whatever. You wanna break the line. No, no, no. It's fine. No, no. He's all like, I want comfort. I'm like, whatever. I don't even use it like 90%. No, 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 no. He rolls no. all the freeway with his windows down. Um, you know what? We're going to leave it in here because that's what he wants. So we're leaving the AC in this because that's what Dominic wants. Um, not what I want. He doesn't care about what I want. <laughs> I thought this relationship was 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, uh, Tanner is removing the AC lines. Uh, this just allows us to pull the engine out a little bit smoother. Be careful with this junk right here. This stuff burns. Okay. okay? So be careful with that. That's the uh, the oil, the pag oil for the AC. Yeah. No, and it reeks. So don't get in your hair. Either. Don't get in your hair. Don't get in your eye. If you want to go blind. Don't don't get in your hair. <laughs> it doesn't come out. Uh, um. So, once um, Dominic is done with the rear heater lines, he already disconnect the fuel lines. We're going to work with uh, removing the harness next. So, we'll give you guys a run through on actually what the harness is. It's really straightforward. Um, the lower line right here that comes, uh, that kind of tees off and goes down and follows the power steering line is the SAI line. So, we have the main SAI pump uh, line here. Follow this one, and then this goes to the power steering pressure line. Okay. If we follow the T that comes off of here, from here on over, this actually goes to the N249 right here, which is this guy right here. And then the N80, I believe this is the N80 or the other N249, which is this guy right here. And that comes off of the actual other side of this line right here, which has the oil pressure and the crank sensor uh, with it. Uh, the big thick one that's right here has the AC, the main power line for the alternator, and the actually alternator relay one right here. If we work our way back to the main loom, you'll see that one that comes right by itself out. That goes to the what the, the right bank uh, knock sensor. There's the left bank knock sensor over here, but that comes on the actual fuel injection um, harness. So that's what comes up here. And this one goes to the VVT solenoid. If we go over, or the VTEC solenoid. <laughs> we follow it, we got uh, cylinder four, three, two, and one the uh, air temperature sensor, all in the same loom, and then it goes down to the throttle position sensor and the cam sensor, and then it tees off down below here to the left bank oof, uh, knock sensor. So these all have to come out. These are really easy to pull out. Um, as long as your pullout game is strong, you should be fine. Uh, that should be it for that portion, and then we're gonna work on our um, Coolant line over here, which has the rest of the ignition harness, which goes over. And that one has, let's see, this one has the coolant sensor, the N75 on top. 
and then down below if you follow it across it goes over to the the shifter um, uh, what is it the speed sensor and it comes up over to the four cylinders and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here on top and that's pretty much the entirety of the harness and once we yank that all out it should come out and sit right here on the on the driver's side rail you guys get all that yes sir yep. all right your girlfriend likes his tiny hands though <laughs> she confuses them as first <laughs> Uh, they're probably best friends, you know. It's like, oh, let's have a girl night, a girls' night out. Exactly. It's like the emojis of one of those white. <laughs> you are, you already know. <laughs> so Dominic is working on the, the fuel uh, harness, and apparently, because he has tiny little girly hands, he can get the hand, sensors out a lot easier. And yeah, yeah, he actually did it a lot faster than I would. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny hands for the win. Exactly. <laughs> so this one, um, kind of pull up and pull back like that. Oh, we still have this one right here, the map sensor. So get some uh, dikes and cut that bad boy off. You're not allowed to call them dikes. It's not PC anymore. Uh, this YouTube channel is 100% non-PC. So they're dikes. That's the official term for them. Diag that's another term for them. That's correct. So follow this and it goes into this guy right here. Into that map sensor. Your diagonal, your uh, they, it's a, it's a they cutter. They them cutters. They them cutters. <laughs> Video might get out. No, no, we're not. We're not political here in any way whatsoever. We're about cars, friends, and stuff. So politics is null and void in this channel. Go somewhere else for that. <laughs> um, so while you're doing that, yep, yep, you got it. It's almost there. There you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn, Dominic's just like, I know this whole car already. <laughs> like, <I do. laughs> seriously. <laughs> What's that right there? <laughs> That's new. Man, this guy's never worked on a VW, by the way, and he's already taking the harness out like he's he's worked on VWs. I'm, I'm actually impressed. Okay, there's one down there. Be super careful because it's a single wire. It's the oil pressure sensor, okay? That one loves to rip. So be super, super careful with that one. I ordered my deep pinning tool, so just in case you do break it, I'll have a tool to actually repair it with. But again, be very careful with it. Yeah, it's a knock sensor, yep. There's two of them on the block. Mm -hmm. You gotta get the crank sensor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Careful, don't bend your AC line. <laughs> I already told you we could keep no, it. We could just get rid no, of it. we're not. You, sir, were adamant about it. Was he not, Tanner? Should we paint it pink since he has little girl hands? Yeah. And he Go wants for to it. keep the AC. Go for it. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, real men don't know what AC is. I can't. It's the 260 rule. Two windows down and going 60. That's right. That's, a, that's an awesome rule. I like that. As you're the one that drives around with your AC oh, on yeah. constantly. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, it came with it. It came with it. I didn't buy the car because of that. Yeah, no, it came with it. Yeah. You know, I, I drive with AC on when I drive that car right there. All right? If you but have when it, I, enjoy it. If exactly. You know, then you can suffer. Exactly. 
Okay. The reason why I have AC in that car because my wife wants AC in that car, not because I want AC in that car. Exactly. But you're not married, so you can't say that. See, but I got a girlfriend. Uh huh. He still drives with the windows down, no AC. That's right. That's the proper American way. I drive with the windows up, AC on, full blast. Dang. Or windows down, AC on, full blast, too. Dang. <laughs> That's the way to show your privilege. <laughs> it's like, I don't even use the AC. I give it to the world. <laughs> give it to the less fortunate. <laughs> Just walk, drive by like a homeless guy. He's like, here, pop your head in. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, bye. Pop your head in. Oh, you smell. Never mind. Bye. bye. You guys are mean. You started. I we know. The best. We do. We can, we're quick, quick learners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys are understanding the humor now. So while he's working on that, um, Tanner over here works at a shop? Yes. Okay. Yes. Works at a shop. Mostly what? American cars and Japanese cars? Yes. American, okay. Japanese. Some German, but not, not too often. Mm hmm. Over here, this guy. I don't know what he does. I work on heavy equipment. Okay, he works on heavy equipment. There you go. He works on tratters. And tratters? Tratters. 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 <laughs> yep. Big old yellow tratters. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> oh. You guys going to be the death of me. I can't wait. Uh, I'm going to try to get my uh, my friend Tiny out here. Uh, uh huh. Is he big? Oh, yeah. He's a big guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> the guy loves to fucking piss me off, dude. <laughs> Pisses me off. Because I'd be like putting the bolt in. I'm like, oh, man, it might be cross thread. And he's like, don't worry about it. Tight's tight. Hey, I'm like, hey, no, hey, Tiny. Hey, hey, no, hey, Tiny. I'm going to do this. No. <laughs> He's like, ah, if it fits, it sits. I'm like, tiny, it has to sit right. Full send. Full send yeah. yeah, yeah, I know this guy. Uh, he's, he's, good. he's good people. All right, so Tanner and Dominic, we, what have we done? Go ahead, break it down. When do you guys talk? Uh, pulled both axles out. Front course part radiator and... AC condenser, pulled off the AC lines, pulled off the power steering lines, got the entire, most of the entire engine harness off and set to the side so we don't break anything. And we haven't broken anything yet. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. Dominic with his little girl hands has been doing a great job getting to all the tight spots. And we are one bolt away from pulling this motor out. Right there. Uh, don't forget, we removed. We just removed the dog bone as well. Yes. Yes. The dog bone mount for the bottom right here. Uh, engine is chained up. Uh, pretty much, we're down to the last motor mount bolt, and then we're gonna pretty much show you guys how to pull this guy out. Go for it. All right. So. The engine is completely unbolted right now, right? Yes. Okay. So there's one way of doing this and doing it right without causing any damage uh, to any other component. What you want to do, you bring it over to about where the AC line is. Mm -hmm. So like right here. So we pull this guy. No, no, don't pull that line. This, this is where we're going to yeah. show you. Oh, we got lower a little bit. We, kept, we got it too high. There we go. Okay. And then move it this way. Stop there. Okay. And what we do is we go down. Make sure it clears everything on that side. Yep. We look cherry. Don't let the. Don't let it bend the AC. Oh down. my goodness. And we go down. Okay. Go down nice and slow. Make sure it clears everything. Oh, we forgot something. Someone forgot it? the vacuum line on here. Who did it? Uh, uh blame it on Tanner. I agree. Yeah, it was probably me. It probably was Tanner. I'll take the blame. I don't even know Tanner very well, and I already know it's his fault. Everyone loves everything. 
So if you wanted to do this a lot easier, Dominic. Yeah, I know. You could just pull the whole thing out, Yeah, right? it pops right out. Yeah. And you can also break the AC line. Make it easier. Mm-hmm. Well, the AC has nothing to do with this right now. No. <laughs> right now, it's just a brake booster. There you go. Okay, that can sit on top of there. So we go all the way down. Okay. It's about... Right there, and then you turn the engine counterclockwise. Okay. Up. Oh, someone forgot some wire. No, 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 I didn't forget wire. Let's see. Up. Oh, who forgot that? Tanner did it. Huh? Oh no, no, hold on. It's just on here. There we go. Turn it, turn it counterclockwise. Keep going. That's it. Never turn it the other way Why because not? it gets caught on all this stuff here, right here. Oh, okay. There's nothing over here to get it caught with. So that's how we always turn it counter and just straight out. Okay. Bring it all the way to the back. I assume. Vice versa going in. Yeah, same exact process in reverse. Get some cardboard underneath that. Just in case it also leak anything. So now that the engine's out, we're now over here. The next step on this process now is tearing down this engine to figure out what happened to it. So um, pretty much the entire process is going to be we work our way from the back to the front because the back is going to be the hardest thing on this thing on this car or this motor. It's just a stupid turbo is hard to take off. Um, you see how tiny it is? Little baby Turbos thing. Stupid. stupid hard to take off because God knows the last time that's ever been touched. You know, everything else literally unbolts super quick because it's easy to access. It's just that there's there's uh, three bolts right here that are near impossible without taking the turbo off completely. And they're tiny little 12 millimeter uh, bolts on there. So we're going to do our best to take all this off as one piece as possible, okay. because if we don't, we're going to mix things up. We're going to lose things and they're going to get misplaced and then putting it all back together, like, oh, where does this go? What does this do? Where's, we're missing this, we're missing that. Try to keep it together, you know? Because yep. this thing right here, all can come off as one piece. So this piece, this piece can be here, all one piece, and this just bolts right off, okay? Yeah. Same with this one, this is part of the turbo. Yeah. Um, it's just a little clip right here, or you can take it off the front, there's a bolt on the front of the turbo, uh, a little five millimeter Allen, yeah. and this all comes off as one piece, oh, okay? okay? And then once that's all disconnected from over there, we're gonna work our way to the, the accessory bracket and the intake manifold, and then all the water system. And then once that's all taken apart, then we'll remove the transmission, and then we'll start tearing down the engine. Gangster. Okay? And then that way we'll be able to put, because it'll be a lot lighter, and then we'll be able to put it on the uh, engine stand after that. Because yeah. you need to remove the transmission and put it on the stand. Yep. On the VR6, you mount the engine you mount the engine on the engine stand on the back of the engine there's actually four holes back here so you can mount it because if not you can't do any work on it because all the timing components yeah. are on the back not on the front so like here everything's on the front of the motor your yeah. belt and everything uh all the timing components are back here on the back <laughs> so the cams are run off a chain yeah. the crank runs off a chain uh, depending on which generation the V6 or the VR6 from, it has one chain or two chains. Hmm. So, and it's all covered by the transmission. So whenever you someone ever comes in and says, "Oh, I want to do a timing job on a VR6," say it's twice the amount of money because it's twice the amount of work. You have to drop a transmission to do it. Okay, let's get going. All right. So currently, the guys are going to be doing pretty much disassembly of the engine. So just enjoy and watch as we work.
we're talking about doing a Q and A. Possibly, mm-hmm. if you guys are down for that and have any questions. Yeah, you guys comment down below, and we'll figure out a time and date, and we'll all hang out, and we'll have Tanner and Dominic. Maybe Tanner wants to join. Join yeah, in sure. some some Q and A. Sure. <laughs> sure it's going. a fun time it's a fun time we just dick around and we talk and we talk hard you know yep. alright guys thanks a lot you guys have a wonderful day and peace out